Hello, some time ago I did a snapshot about the bond and the, the master facilities plan that we're, we're hoping to put in place with the bond uh, to, to rebuild really all of our buildings over time, but in the meantime remodel some of our other buildings. And I've had some questions come in saying, well, you know, I'm, I'm, in, a, I'm in a really old school, like the 1970s or something, and, and um, so when's my building going to be rebuilt? And how come there are other ones on the timeline that are ahead of mine? And, and you know, um, there's this, there's an, an acronym, we got lots of acronyms, FCI, Facility Condition Index. We took all of our facilities, all hundred or so of our facilities, and ranked them over like 120 different factors, 120 different systems that every building has, whether that's the roof, or the, or the fields, or the plumbing, or the lead pipes, or the, or the whatever. And, and we ranked all of those, or we worked on all of those, in terms of expected life cycle. Now we've been working on all of our buildings for, for, for as long as we've had them, and so different things have different expected life cycles as we've put them in. This building here, for example, is frankly one of the oldest buildings in the district, but we've recently done some work uh, in the office, and so the office is upgraded. It's, it's, a, it's an early 21st century office. I wouldn't say it's a, it's a cutting edge 21st century office, but it's, it's, it's functional, and it's really good probably for another 10 or 15 years. The, uh, the ceiling tiles have been replaced. That's to, to encapsulate, um, you know, can, <laughs> that's to encapsulate materials that were used in construction all the way up into the 70s that are, that are known now to have caused some health issues. So those have been taken care of in this building and really in all of our other buildings. Another piece that factors into this is buildings age differently. And it's not just the building, it's sometimes the part of the valley that it's, that it's built on. And, and so if the foundation, the ground underneath the building um, is, is perhaps softer, you know, dirt rather than rock in other parts of the valley, then there may be foundation issues or other things. So buildings age differently than others depending on when they were built and, and where they were built. But the idea is over this facility condition index score, the buildings and all of the systems that have reached the maximum and more in some cases of their expected life cycles, we're going to work with those, those first. The highest or lowest rather, well the highest life cycle expectancy buildings um, first, and those will be replaced first, and those that are in better shape, even though they may be older or younger, we'll get to them later. So phase one, and you've all seen, I hope you've all seen this, phase one takes our most difficult, troubled buildings that have exceeded in those 120 systems their life cycles, they'll be replaced first. Now I need people say, well what if the bond doesn't pass? You know, quite frankly, if the bond doesn't pass, it slows all of this way, way down, just about to a standstill. But, assuming that it does, that's the approach that we're going to take. Uh, those that have exceeded all of the life cycles, we'll take care of those first and then move down with remodels to keep some things going, uh, moving down the list until really over time, every building is a new building. Thanks so much.